Hello everybody, this tutorial is to help you learn a little bit more about how to customize the sound settings on your iPad. The first thing we'd like to do in order to get to those settings is to go ahead and click on settings on your iPad. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. We'll go ahead and we'll scroll down until we find sounds. And when you do that, it'll bring up a menu and you can really work to customize your iPad the way you'd like to. So the first thing I'd like to do is just talk a little bit about the bar at the top. Currently, my iPad is a little bit under um, halfway as far as volume. When you do move that, you can hear that it does change the volume of the iPad and that will allow you to customize that the way you'd like. Below that, you'll see a toggle bar here, and it says change with buttons. What that's going to allow you to do, right now mine is currently toggled off, so the volume of my ringer and the alerts are not affected by the volume buttons. If you do turn that on, you can adjust the volume of the ringer and the alerts as much as you'd like with that particular volume button on the side of your iPad. You also have the ability to go under the section that says sounds and be able to customize your ringtone, your text tone, calendar alerts, reminder alerts, and airdrop. All you have to do in order to do that is just to click on the area there and it will bring up a list of ringtones and you can go through and decide which one you would like. Also down here at the bottom, you can see that there is a toggle bar for keyboard clicks and lock sound. Currently, my keyboard clicks is toggled off. So what that means is when the keyboard is brought up on your iPad and you're typing, it will give you the ability to be able to hear a little clicking noise so that you know that you're typing each letter. If that's not something you'd like, I would suggest just leaving that off. And also when you put your iPad into lock mode, it will give you a sound that tells you that it is in locked down. So if you like to have that particular sound on, you can certainly toggle that one on. So I hope this helps a little bit with learning how to customize the sound functions on your iPad.